Hey everybody, got some Leo gameplay here this fine Saturday. Um, he was modified a slight bit thanks to some bug fixes, and I feel that he actually is surprisingly a bit better to play. I don't know, maybe I just learned how to play a little bit better. Um, I was originally trying to do a turret thing where I use a turret to support my team, but it's just hard to position that turret. So, I decided to go ahead and focus on a, which is pretty standard build for most uh, Leos right now. Basically, you start with the bot code X, and from there you go with the adoration of the AI, and every so often they're appointed either defense or maybe a turret for some more armor. As for products and endorsements, I am using Jumpy, Spunky, Massive Air, and Money Magnet. For no reason besides it's fun. It's actually uh, pretty awesome to get that sort of height and then use this hang glider to get a light and then just you know, float around. Use it a few times in this uh, video. As far as endorsements go, you just use Fire Rate. I, uh, I tried using Skill Cover, but it's not, wasn't... I wasn't getting a whole lot of mileage out of it. So, I say use Fire Rate so you can, I can get more uh, charge faster. And for the beginning uh, landing phase, I basically just sort of, you know, hang back. We got a few, for a few kills, so they overextended like crazy in the early game. And just sort of... Uh, just push. Uh, probably didn't push enough as I should have, actually. Should be using, you know, like right here, should be using this, uh... Use that, or, uh, use Black Critics on the on cooldown, pretty much, and... Steal their bots with, uh, Adoration of the AI. You don't level up Adoration first, because it only adds, like, Gremlins to it. Uh, you can, you'll be fine with just, um... With the rank 1. See right there, it takes over, uh, Shady, no problem. So consider that. And right now, the primary does very bad damage at range, but it also um, builds charge, so I wasn't using the crossbow at all. Crossbow has no fall off. Do do keep that in mind. It is useful for when you want to take a target at range. I did skip a, uh, a rank at level 3 because I wanted to get Adoration and bot code at the same uh, time, rank 3, because Adoration rank 2 is not worthwhile, so might as well not even bother skilling up at um, rank 3. And from here, it's really just a whole lot of bot babysitting. I did find out that his uh, turret actually recalls you back to base. I did not know that. I saw the hand thing uh, when I first started playing him, but I didn't really make the connection. I thought it was just, you know, when it said recall, I thought it meant recall the turret. But it actually, if, you, if you're any player, not just Leo, go up to that turret, um, I think press F, and you will, after a few seconds, you'll be sent back to your base to heal up. Uh, just keep that in mind. It's not super practical all the time, but it is It is there. Once again, overextending tank. I'm going to pay the price. Pull out the crossbow, because the crossbow will hit with all three... will hit with all three um, bolts and probably do more damage with the uh, laser up close. I believe the laser actually does more damage... Uh, to the it works like a prism basically it, you like I said in another video you you fire it it'll refract off the target it initially hits and then it'll hit anything behind it with a sort of uh, little AOE cone and I believe that that refraction actually does more damage than the initial hit this is what I've heard from other uh, p people who play Leo more often than I have so you kind of they say hit um so you kind of want to hit like a, a, a slim instead of a shade, uh, hit the little smaller slim bots and then so that the splash hits the shady for more damage. Since the initial hit on the, uh, on the, on the mono laser will actually one shot a slim bot anyway once you hit a certain level. Once you've mac, once you've, uh, you know, gotten three and three with your other two skills, with your two main skills, where you go from there sort of, uh, for me personal preference, if you are, if you know you're being attacked a lot, I'm gonna go into health so you get that speed and extra HP. If you have noticed that your team's getting a lot of mileage out of your turret, you might want to go ahead and uh, buff that up since it'll give them more armor, it'll do a little more damage. 
Um, lastly, if none if of the above apply, you could go for damage, which is um, not, definitely not a bad thing. I don't know if it increases his heal of his alt fire, but um, it does. It does make the damage go up, which is uh, still a good thing because you are going to be using that laser anyway, so I might as well get some damage out of it. Like I said, I don't play Leo a whole lot. I don't play Defender a whole lot, but he's kind of an interesting character that he does not follow. He's very different from uh, Combat Girl and Support, who were all a very similar model. Um, other thing he mind, uh, see right here, time your, your turret properly. Look at the clock. Make sure you recall that turret, especially if you have, a, if you have rank one only. Um, you, which is why I tend to go for rank two after I've uh, leveled up my adoration and bot code. You sort of want to, you want to make sure you're timing that turret right. So when you recall it, it'll be off cooldown by the time the annihilator's ready, so you can pop it down there. Because especially on a map like this, the aura, the uh, aura for the armor. Right here, you see I am getting a height advantage with my spunky jumpy. Spunky Jumpy seems like a sort of a goofball product, but it's actually quite um, a lot more useful than you think. Mainly because you know you juice. The biggest thing that blocks juice is a grapple. You get grappled, you will, you will, you know, be able to attack. So Spunky Jump means you can you can just jump around. You're a lot harder to hit. You're a lot harder to grapple, and you can still fire at people for the most part. So it does allow you to make full use of that juice. Um, it also is a nice escape tool. I will use it later to jump behind a. Uh, to jump away from people, get behind a wall. You also jump. You also quickly jump into the jungle if you are on the right map, or jump out of the jungle if you are on downtown Spunky. Right here, this was a little risky, and I die from it. Gotta be careful when you uh, when you grapple someone. But yeah, I also have massive air, which I'm not sure would really. Is, is is really good with uh, Leo. It's just uh, I, I just bought it recently, so I really wanted to use it. It is a fun product. I'm not sure how well it works with his gliding. I didn't really test it out a whole lot. I kind of forget he has the glide, but you know, you um, pretty much you just gotta experiment with the product, see what works for you. It's not a great product, so it's kind of hard to find a product that I like with him. I originally tried using Spunky Energy, which I do with most uh, defenders, but. Does that work out for me too well? This is a decent spot for the turret right there. I'm trying to figure out turret locations. Generally, actually, it's quite a sturdy, a sturdy turret. It does take it. I think it's actually harder to kill the uh, the Venice defense turret than it is any other turret in the game right now. Um, a bit harder to kill than Firebase. Obviously, it's harder to kill than a single uh, Firecat. So you could leave it exposed. I'm missing it right there. I mean, just bouncers coming at you. That two two blackjacks and a bouncer, but if you um if you put it out in the open where your team's gonna congregate, obviously not too close to enemy territory. It will take a while to go down if you're especially if you're there. Uh, there are teammates there for your enemies to focus on, and they'll get armor from it, you know, passively. Like right here, it'll also attack bots. Like you can hide over there. That might be the best spot because you think about it. The it is a spot where you can be prone to ring outs, but it's not terrible. Um, at level eight, I did screw up my I did screw up my build here. I for some reason was not thinking, and I spawned. I said, "Oh, I'm well, I'm spawning. I might as well go ahead and give myself a, a point or something." And I meant to save my point level seven, so I get rank four in bot code and adoration, and that screwed my build up. So. I went ahead and I grabbed Adoration rank 4 at level 8, so they cannot grab both anymore. Right here, 7 HP left, using that Spunky Jumpy to get out and jump behind a wall to get safe, and just start jumping around. I don't need to go back to base because I've already healed with it. Probably should take advantage of the jumping and uh, shot them up a little bit. One thing I did not know in this video, by the way, is that Adoration does not steal spawned bots. I was, I was thinking it was a bug, but it's not. It's uh, intended. You cannot steal a spawn bot. Which are now very obvious because they are yellow or gold colored, as you see in the distance over there. So, if you are playing with Leo, do not use Adoration on spawned bots. It will not work, even if you got rank four, which is the Fuji level. So, see here, they have two spawn bots. They have a bot that's stuck, I think, over there, which uh, will be killed. 
I, I kept trying to steal it, but you cannot steal it. I think I tried it at one point on a bouncer. I'm not sure. Adoration seems to work a little better now. It's a bit more responsive to uh, various bots. And here we go ahead and destroy that bot right there. If I get him stuck, using uh, bot code X to help speed it up, give him a little advantage there. They spawn a lot of bots here, so we lose a turret. I'm just going to go ahead and focus on... Yeah, Annihilator's coming up soon, so I decided, you know what, I need to focus on getting my team healed up. Start building that thing a little bit. Uh, my turret's all ready to go. We're already up there. Going to have to plop down a turret so they can heal. I watched that jump up, but that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and come in from behind here. Got stuck with a bouncer, but I'm not too worried because my entire team's up there. They only have a few up there. No one's dead. Go ahead and toss a heal out to them because I noticed my... If you're healing with Leo, make sure you're painted to the top of the screen. See the health bars. Know what you know. Know what you're doing. Right here, this is not smart. I think I should get out of this alive. Yeah, I do. I go ahead and... Oh, I don't get out of it alive. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was doing there, you know, behind enemy lines like that, but... The tank does pay for his life, but I'm also dead. And the Annihilator still is not used up, so don't... I was thinking around there for some reason. I'm not even sure if my, uh... There goes Annihilator, but... I'm not quite sure what I was doing up there. I was just messing around, but... My, uh, turret survived. Like I said before, Leo's turret does persist through death. It does not go away when you die. And if you are... If you are, you know... I'm not sure if you're going to live or not, make sure you pop that turret down, because it will stay around, and it will heal your team, give them or give them armor anyway, provide a uh, spot to get back to base if they want to. Actually, I find that if you get the, if you get the Annihilator, uh, you or one of your teammates should actually use the turret to head back to base and spawn bots to counter the bots the enemy will inevitably, inevitably spawn, so... That's also a good use for the recall on that turret. Do, make sh do realize it exists. You won't be using it too often, but... It does happen. This is a case of where the combat girl gets a little too uh, too tunnel vision there, trying to kill the the support. Generally speaking, you can't kill support fast. You will not kill him because he will start draining your life. You will be slowed, and eventually he will get enough HP over you so he can just switch with shotgun and either grapple you or just shoot you point blank. And if you're going in over into enemy territory, that will be even less likely to uh, for you to get the kill since you also have teammates there. I tried to get the the tank with the ejector there, but he was aware of it. Hover right over it. Um, on the bright side, it does shut down the ejector for uh, our bot, so our bots are safe to progress. I'm getting chased. I'm gonna ahead and spawn a spawn a bouncer. Gives us a little more breathing room. Which of course the bouncer goes and it ignores it ignores the enemies attacking my teammates and goes to the enemy that's already getting killed to begin with. So. That's fantastic. Now that the tank is off of me, I switch back. You notice I switch back to the to the Mona Laser. I'm no longer in danger, so I just want to build up that heal, even though it's a lot of damage. I'm confident that the veteran can kill that tank, so he died. I'm gonna go ahead and point a third point to the turret at this point. I don't feel like my HP's that low. I'm not getting a lot of kills with my damage, so I'm gonna start focusing now on pushing bot waves. Because Adoration is now rank 4, I can push really hard. I'm not doing as much as I should be. should be using that bot, uh, bot code on cooldown to buff my bots. So we're going to head and push on this on this turret. I can easily use bot code X. Uh, my bots are just, you know, you saw how fast they ripped through those other bots. Because they had that 30% speed attack speed upgrade. And really just, yeah, right here, just cutting through them. Using the uh, crossbow to spread that damage out. Probably should have used a laser, to be honest, not thinking about it, because their fraction is also AoE damage, and I'm close enough to probably do a decent amount of damage uh, to them, and while building up charge as well, but I think I also want to be ready to grapple if necessary, so had that crossbow out. Once again, trying to take control of a summon bot does not work. Do not try it. Also need to move my turret. I'm not sure if I realize that eventually here our... our, uh... Our front has moved up. We have a fire base established over there, so be aware of that. I think at some point here, I yep, there it goes. I recall it and get ready to move it forward. 
go ahead and pump uh, buff our bots. They take down the enemy team pretty handily there, or enemy team wave there handily, but they have some cats, so it's a little harder. And I gotta back up because there are scramblers after me. I believe you backpedal as fast as you walk forward. Someone can confirm this for me or not. It's not noticeable, but I believe you actually do walk backwards as fast as you walk forwards. There are some games where you actually do slow yourself down walking backwards, which means that backpedaling away from yourself while firing is not a good idea because it means enemies can't catch up with you. But, not quite sure. And, I thought I had that gravel, but I botched it up. So I had to burn my juice to get away. It was jumping there, I think I had spummy jumpy still. Had a big charge there, still so get a good heal on my team. While Carl, uh, Carl hits glass, a lot of players know good. had that happen. Go ahead, slow down, Carl. And he's frantically trying to get with that bouncer, so I can push up some more. I still have problems with Leo, where he's still very, very boring if he's not near bots. Which is, admittedly, there's plenty of bots to go around, but he doesn't have a lot of going on for him if he's not with bots. And the tanks can get in very, very bad spot here. I think he gets away though. Yeah, he t. Nope, nope. He gets he gets hooked, and he's not saved by his death dodger. He gets killed. So at this point, I have noticed I have desummoned my turret because it's almost annihilator time. I want to get up there, but the assault is messing with me. Go ahead and get myself rank 4. Don't really need the uh, turret this time, but since we did do Annihilator, Recall it works anyway because it means I can uh, move it upwards faster. So then have to recall it again. So we can have uh, a secure spot. Right, so right here, it's a nice secure spot, though it's going to go down fast because there's a tank in salt there, but it will offer a little bit of pressure in the meantime. Something I want to mention also about uh, products and endorsements is is that um, do keep in mind his fire rate for the I'm not sure if crit increases his charge. I'm not really exploring mechanics a whole lot, but do keep in mind of a fire rate for him. He worked differently compared to the other compared to the other uh, commandos, other build that like tries bot buster. I'm not sure if uh, like I said, I'm not sure if his damage increases his charge rate, but he's already He's already a really good bot pusher. The reason why you, if you're gonna be, and you're going to be using the um, the charge anyway, or the laser anyway, to build up charge. So why not go ahead and just uh, use bot buster and get some more mileage out of that? I don't have bot buster yet. It was a choice between massive air and bot buster, and I went for bot. I went for massive air. So that'll probably bot buster is probably my next uh, product, not endorsement. As for endorsements, fire rate's pretty good. I don't think skill recovery's bad. I just I personally found less use for it, but I think if you're a if you're a if you're a better Leo that's more on top of uh, buffing your bots, it's probably a probably a solid choice in my opinion. I'm not sure if it's good enough to make it part of uh, spunky energy, but definitely not a bad set to invest in. Besides that, I'm trying to think of other tools he might have to use. Maybe Death Dodger, but I think he's just too frail to really to survive long enough. Um, maybe Health Inverter with the crossbow and the close range lasers. He's got a lot of AoE damage, but I again, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, I did use Over Armor him once. It seems a little redundant that you have the uh, turret. Here we're getting really backed off. You see right there, look at that. He's just a well-timed... A well-timed uh, adoration right there just gives me a lot. Gives me, it gets a lot of bot kills, and a lot of juice, and we can just really push that wave back really hard. And I think these are this is the enemy's last sort of uh, attempt at pushing into our base. But at this point, I'm fully. Leo is definitely one of those guys who sort of gets really powerful as he gets later in the game. Your bots are really charging forward. You can kill enemy Fujis in one shot while also killing a bot wave. I mean, it's not just. You're not just killing their Fuji. You're also using that Fuji to kill another bot wave as well. So it's a really potent skill. And late game, it's just, <laughs> it's just crazy. I just remember just watching you know, some of these bot waves go down really fast. I think a bot buster might be a good idea. 
trying to get that combat girl. I know I can get her. I'm going to go back. I know the turret back here is dead. And she's going to come back here. Look at that. Nice, easy, clean kill. I heard. I turned back because I heard a bouncer. I thought it was someone else. I thought it was uh, the other team, so. I back there. I am told to fuck off because I killed the person. I don't know. He had like two health left. You. No turret down, I mean. Yeah. And right here, you see, once again, bam. French take down a Bowie with one skill. And their turret's down, and this is, I don't know, I'm, I'm actually liking him a lot better. I still think he's a little boring without bots, but that's not too frequent. And he gotta get some buffs. I think he still should get a little over armor to overhealing with his alt fire, but, you know. And here we're going to be Batman. We're going to hover above the area. And that'll be the game. Uh, a little more Leo gameplay there, a little bit better than last time, I think. Except for the whole summoning bot secret thing. But I hope you enjoyed that. I think he is working a bit better with the bug fixes. See, there are 208 bot kills. That's with, you know, sort of a uh, sort of half-baked skill usage. So definitely good, uh, good pro to use. Give him a try. And I will see you all next time. He's sleeping.